Good news guys, workhorse stock just got a big order, and no, it wasn't from USPS. The stock has been going nowhere for a few weeks now, but it looks like it could finally start to rally again. We could see it break through new highs and really be a stock to watch out for long term. The EV game is strong and everyone is caught up on Tesla and NEO but seem to be forgetting about workhorse. That could all change soon. Let's find out why and analyze this high growth stock. Okay guys welcome back to Trader Gators. If you're new welcome, if you're coming back welcome. For those that don't know we talk all things related to the stock market, forex, crypto, personal finance, and real estate. We discuss trading strategies, tips, and market news, as well as technical analysis on some of our favorite stocks. Make sure to subscribe so you can get notified of new videos when they're released and to get notified of my upcoming giveaway. This is not professional advice, and everything we discuss should be taken with a grain of salt and is for entertainment purposes only. So if you don't know what Workhorse is, it's basically the Tesla of commercial vans. Well, that really isn't a good comparison, but basically they make electric commercial vans. The stock has been stuck in a range for the past few weeks, but I think this could all change and we could see another rally soon. So Workhorse got a lot of hype in the beginning and kind of died off because of their USPS contract. What happened was, they were supposed to get a contract from USPS, or at least we're one of the finalists for the contract, but USPS kept pushing back the contract date. Every time workhorse stock rallied, USPS announced a delay plummeting the stock. Now I understand getting the USPS contract would be a big deal for them, but I'm also thinking it won't matter as much anymore. They just got a huge order that they might not even be able to fill because of supply. Basically they have more demand than the ability to supply right now, and we're not expecting to get such big orders. They just got an order for 6,300 electric vans, which makes it their biggest order yet. The order came from Pride Group which has locations all across Canada as well as America. Pride is a truck sales and leasing company that has numerous businesses related to logistics. With Pride making such a big order, that means that the benefit of electric vans greatly outweighs the cost of them. Think about it, delivery drivers drive around all day delivering packages, and with every delivery means more and more gas. If logistics companies can save on gas and increase profit margins, it's really a no-brainer for all delivery companies to switch to EV vans. I mean it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that gas is one of the biggest expenses for any delivery company. I honestly think in a few years that every delivery van will be electric. It just makes more sense, and it doesn't really make sense to buy a gas-powered delivery van when you don't have to. To be honest, the more I think about it the more opportunity I feel like Workhorse has. I was only thinking about USPS, but with the Pride order, there are so many more companies that can benefit from their EV vans. For example, companies like FedEx and Amazon outsource their deliveries to independent companies. That means, they don't have to rely on getting a contract from these companies, and these independent companies can start buying these vans anytime they want to. With more and more shopping being done online, means more and more growth for commercial van deliveries. Not only that, think about moving companies and van rental companies like U-Haul. There's a lot of need for commercial vans, and I think delivery vans is just the tip of the iceberg. I think everyone invested in Workhorse has been so caught up in the USPS contract that they're not really seeing the big potential here. Now, I'm not saying the USPS contract won't be huge for them, and the stock will definitely move significantly from it, but I don't think that contract will make or break them. I think they still have more potential beyond one contract, especially for long-term growth. I mean they already have more orders than they can handle, and they flat out said they're oversold right now. Being oversold without the USPS contract means their business is solid and the growth potential for them could be enormous. Just think about how many delivery vans are used on a global scale. If we look at their stock price we can see that their stock price was around $1 in early 2020 and hit highs of around $30. This might sound absolutely crazy, but almost every EV stocks chart will look the same. Companies like NEO and Lee were trading for around $1 before the big EV rally, so it's no surprise Workhorse rallied with them. However, with Workhorse we can see we've had a couple big sell-offs, and the stock price has dipped significantly a few times. This is all from USPS delaying the contract. Every time they delayed the contract Workhorse took a big hit. Now, Workhorse isn't even getting the contract for sure yet, but a lot of investors invested off them being a finalist for the contract. 
however, this was before they got some big orders, so every time USPS delays the contract I think Workhorse will take a smaller and smaller hit since they have real orders now. Let me be clear though, I'm not saying that Workhorse stock will not tank if they don't get the contract, but I do believe long-term Workhorse will be okay, with or without the USPS contract. The stock price has been range-bound for a few weeks now, but I do think we could hit that $30 mark again pretty soon. It doesn't look like it's going to drop below $20 again, so I think we could see another rally back up. Remember, I'm not a professional and this is all my opinion so if you invest and the stock tanks please do not blame me. So what do you guys think of Workhorse? Are they a real contender in the commercial electric vehicle space, or will increased competition from competitors bankrupt them? I think they're a winner in the EV space, and the potential to me is enormous. Especially if we think about it on a global scale, and how many delivery vans there are in the world. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and if we should be looking at any competitors. That's it for this video make sure to subscribe for more videos on stocks, forex, crypto, real estate and personal finance.